Hi, Mr. G Shave here. Um, shave, face shave number 41. Um, yeah, looking forward to this. Uh, software wise, I'm using One Society pre shave oil. Really quite good. Um, strong smell of rum to this. And there's a citrus in the background. Um, I'm using. <clears throat> Wickham's, another sample from Wickham's, which is the, I've actually already opened the, the pack, um, but it's the Irish Fern, Wickham's 1912 Irish Fern, so there you go, and the smell of this is stunning. I would say it's, it's similar but not the same as um, Sterling Executive Man. It's a different scent, but only just the, the very similar scents. Um, in my certainly to my nose, anyway. Uh, really nice, really really nice. You can almost you can smell the earthiness to it as well, which is where it differs from the Executive Man. It, this it, it's really pleasant. So that's the Wickham's. I've got two more samples that I'm, I've got saved up for the next two face shaves on a Saturday. And then after that I'll go back to my usual routine. But I do intend to get some of the Wickham soaps. It's, um, they're, they're really good quality soaps. Um, and I don't think they get enough attention. Although Jim Will Shave has just posted a video on, on a Wickham soap that he's got. And that's worth watching. Lather bomb. <laughs> It's, that, that's the express way I describe that video, a lather bomb. Right, uh, I'm going to follow up the uh, shave um, with Boots Witch Hazel, Tea Tree and Witch Hazel Face Tonic, and Boots Freshwood Aftershave. This goes really well with this particular uh, Wickham soap. And then the balm I'm using is Ted Baker Post Shave Balm number three. So, um, not, I don't think this is particularly well, well known or well respected within the community. It's just I've got, I've got it and I use it. The, the, the one thing I have found when I use this is I always have to follow it up with Nivea Men moisturizer. So it, it, it doesn't give me the skin feel that I'm after, so I, off camera I use, use the Nivea Men. Hardware, uh, Giles & Co. Shallow Shaving Bowl. This is the coffee, coffee and cream is it? I forget. Um, really, really nice, high quality shaving bowl. The ridge hasn't been glazed, so it's rough, so you can grip it. Really well thought, thought through. I'm using the Yaki 26mm Tuxedo um, Evil Zebra Brush. One of my favourite brushes, certainly for the face anyway. <clears throat> and I'm using the, um, ra um, it's not Razor Rock, <laughs> it's the 6C, the Rockwell 6C, um, and it's on plate. I hope I can get this in focus. You should be able to see it. Um, plate four, wherever that is. So I'm hoping that you can see that. Yeah, I can see it there. So plate four. Um, and I'm using the blades that I used yesterday, which were not very well prepared today. The Super Shave X razor blades. I used this on my head yesterday, and I said I'd use it uh, use it on its second use on my face today. Um, it was an enjoyable shave yesterday, um, but I, I feel that I need to give the blades an, another go on the face because I'm more used to using razor blades on my face than the head. So I just want it so I could really voice an opinion on the blades themselves. They've got a very good reputation and they come double wrapped and the, and the wrapping is great. It's very similar to Voshcard. It's, it's not just standard wax paper. So 
I'm going to get myself ready for the shave and I'll come right back. Right, <clears throat> I've put a tiny little bit of soap in the, in the bowl and spread it out very thinly because that way I think I'll get all the soap out. <clears throat> uh, and I think I'm using a, a, a little bit less than Jim Will Shave did. Um, <laughs> uh, that is a video you've got to watch. Um, so, squeezing out the brush, three little shakes. And straight in to lather up. Now this, oh, I can smell the scent on this straight away. It's just wafting over me. Beautiful, beautiful scent. This is, I think the Wickham's is quite a thirsty soap, so I'm just building it at the moment. And let's dip the tips, go straight in. And this really does lather up extremely well. If you look at my last face shave from last Saturday, I've used about half of the soap that I used last Saturday. And it, it's still loads of lather. Um, absolutely loads. Look at it. Just incredible and, and still in there. <clears throat> and I can still, it's, it can still take more water. It's not, it's got a little bit of a shine on it, but not enough yet. Just working it a bit more. You've got to work your lather about, I don't know, 30 seconds at least. Uh, and the more you work it, the, the better your lather is going to be. I think I'm going to leave it at that. So I'm going to wet my face. I'd already put the pre-shave oil on. Sometimes I'll, I'll show that on the video. Um, sometimes I won't. It just saves a little bit of time, not a lot, but. Oh, the, the scent on this is stunning. This, I like both scents. I, I do like them both, but this is, wow. <laughs> Love it. Irish fern. I, I, I'll have to do some reading up on it and see if there's any description of what it's, what the scent's supposed to be. You know, whether it's a, another Aventus Creed or another version of Aventus Creed. I've not got any Aventus Creed and I've never smelt Aventus Creed, so I wouldn't know. I'm just going on what other people have said it, you know, that for instance the Sterling Executive Man. Um, I think that's a, a copy of a of Aventus Creed or their take on it. But yeah, excellent lather. Nice and thick, just perfect for me. Right, let's go to it. So this is trying out the um, the uh, the new blades, the Super Shave X blades, with my Rockwell 6C on plate four. So here we go. Oh no, that's very smooth. I can tell straight away. That is very, very smooth. Really nice. Very comfortable. <clears throat> 
I think Flash said he's used Super X's before. Somebody said they've used Super X blades before and they love them. Uh, and I have to say, I'm impressed. Don't get me wrong, when I say smooth, it doesn't mean they're less efficient. I can tell they're efficient blades, they're sharp, but very comfortable. Yeah, it's funny. I mean, you get you get to know how different blades feel in different razors and stuff. And when I'm saying the three, the Edwin Jagger three one six, you know, I'm not so used. To, if I kind of get the impression I'm not used to using it, I am used to using it, but only on my face, not my head. So it was a bit difficult to judge the blade feel because I I was struggling getting the angle yesterday on my head. It's just one of those days. Uh, and it was the first time I'd used that razor on my head, so. But I can definitely feel the blade. I can tell that it's sharp, but it is super comfortable. I don't know much about this blade other than it's Swedish steel. Just because it's Swedish steel doesn't mean it's made in Sweden. Um, so again that's something I'll have to look up or if somebody wants to make leave it in the comments where these blades are made um, I'm not sure whether it says on the pack I think I did try and see yesterday It just says manufactured for MERS, M-E-R-S, Razor Works, UK. Um, doesn't say where it's actually made. So that's interesting. I always thought things had to have the, you know, where it's made put on the label, but maybe not. <clears throat> so let's uh, wet the face again. Oh, the, the scent from this, I can tell it's going to last. Really good scent. I have to say, I'm so impressed with this. I mean, these, these samples have been sat in my drawer for months and months, possibly even a year. Um, I, I don't even remember when I ordered them. Uh, Strange, strange. So I hope they still make all of these scents. I'm sure they do. But this Irish fern, if they've got this, I'm definitely ordering this. I mean, I liked that cashmere last weekend. I really enjoyed using that. But this, to me, is a step up. Not, not in, in, in quality of soap, but the scent strength. This is definitely six. Six out of ten scent strength. The only thing that I've got that would possibly overpower this is the Tob Sandalwood. Uh, I, I don't think I've got anything stronger in scent than the Tob Sandalwood, but this is really, really close. Um, and look at the lather. I've already I've taken off most of the bristles, and there's still plenty of lather left on the face. Um, the performance of this soap is really impressive. So across the grain on this side is straight up. And across on this side is a cross. Surprise, surprise. Right. Now, November is always a difficult month for me because I've already got the goatee. And if I grow a full beard, then I'm not going to be shaving. So that kind of destroys it. So uh, 
I'm just going to make a donation. <laughs> I've already got the goatee, uh, which a lot of people are growing out. I thought about shaving it off, um, but if I'm honest, I'm not sure I want to do that. <coughs> it take, it's taken me a long time to get my goatee this, to, to this stage. I don't like it as it is. To shave it off now, it's going to take me more than a year to get it back to this level. So, um, and then I'd be shaving it off again for the next Movember. So, I just took the decision to, you know, just make a donation. Talk about Movember, get yourself checked. You know, it might be embarrassing, but you've got to check, you know, because the more embarrassing thing is leaving your family or, you know, because you haven't had, you haven't gone in for the check. So just get yourself checked. Prostate cancer awareness. Um, so that's what I'm going to be donating to. <clears throat> It doesn't matter what age you are, but obviously the older you get, the more often you need to get yourself checked. So I get myself checked at least once a year. Um, and I used to be quite a heavy smoker at one time, until about, I don't know, five years, six years ago. Um, I was smoking at least 30 cigarettes a day and they were not the silk cuts, you know, the lights. They were the full strength. <clears throat> um, they were full strength cigarettes. Embassy number ones. Um, Marlboros, well not Marlboros so much, I haven't smoked Marlboros in probably 20 years but Certainly, there's similar sort of strength for because I don't I don't think you guys get embassy number ones in the states, but I'm just trying to think of a cigarette that would be similar in strength, and I would say that would probably be Marlborough. Um, and I used to smoke 30 of those a day, and on weekends when I used to go down to the local bar, I could double that. So I don't smoke at all now. I, I vape. Um, so, you know, and that has improved my asthma at no end. Um, right, against the grain on this side to you, it will look like I'm going across, but it's actually against. Really nice shave. I've been looking forward to this because I was so impressed with the Wickham soap last week that I'm so looking forward to having a show with this and trying out this new blade uh, for a second use on the face. And I'm really impressed with this blade. Highly recommended. This has got to be, if this continues like this uh, with all the other blades and they're reliable, this actually might overtake my favorite blade, which is the Astra Green. And the only reason I have the Astra Green is my favourite blade is because it'll go in anything. Whereas, for instance, feathers, you don't want to be putting feathers in some razors. I wouldn't put a feather, for instance, I don't know. When I first put a feather in my Merca 34C, I, 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 yeah, I, that was not pleasant. I'm glad I wasn't on YouTube at the time. Um, Blood pouring through a sieve would be a good description. It was probably one of the worst shows I ever had. Um, it was literally, I was bleeding from everywhere. Even places I hadn't shaved. <laughs> it just wasn't good. I have tried a feather in there since but I've got a lot more experience with it. This is when I was very new to shaving when I did that. Probably within the first few months of DE shaving, I did that with my Merca. I put a feather 
blade in it and um, yeah not good when you don't know what you're doing um, really not good right let's have a feel around that's pretty much BBS just little bits there couple of bits there but everything else is clean that's BBS shave so that's a great shave more water for the pickup pass as Paul H says three two one pickup time baby <laughs> I love watching his videos he's another great guy to watch um, far more subscribers and far more established than I am Paul H films fellow Welshman would definitely recommend watching his videos um, Jim Jim will shave he's from Liverpool area um, he's worth watching I don't know why I'm lathering up here but I'm enjoying this shave <laughs> um, Kevy shaves uh, there's quite a few quite a few I'll, I'll drop some links below to some channels that I'd recommend you go and have a look at. I've just subscribed to somebody I think it's the Northern Shave or something like that uh, he looks interesting um, so yeah pickup pass So smooth, this this blade is brilliant. Now I've been using plate three on this razor for quite a while, and I just jumped up. The only reason I've stuck with plate 3 is because I put all the other plates upstairs in a drawer and sometimes it's just too much hassle to go up and get the different plates. So I've brought all the plates down and I'm, I'm on plate 4 now and I definitely prefer plate 4 on all three passes and the pickup pass. Really, really smooth. Really enjoyed that. That's me done. That's me BBS. I'm going to squeeze out the brush so there's still a lot left in there I'm going to give myself a face wash and I'll be right back right back to finish off the shave post shave time let's get some cold water on I have to say that was a great shave I mean, the, the post-shave feel of this soap is, is really good. It feels all moisturised. It feels great. said before and I'll say it again even on a cold winter's day there's something about rinsing off your face and your head not that I've shaved my head but I do it anyway I rinse off my head um, on a cold winter's day rinsing off your head with ice cold water is great I've, I've had cold shaves in the past I and, and they're fine uh, absolutely fine uh, but I haven't I wouldn't say the experiences are so so different to a hot shave, so maybe I'm doing it wrong or 
Anyway, let's get the boots, tea tree and witch hazel. Let's get that on. Oh, I haven't put alum on. Too late now. The boots, tea tree and witch hazel is stinging. So I know I've had a really close shave. Mind you, it's stinging a bit on my head and I haven't shaved today, so there you go. Right. Let's use the uh, Boots Freshwood Aftershave. Put plenty of this on, it's cheap as chips. Doesn't last very long, but it smells great. Oh yeah, that's burning. Again, it's burning on the head as well, so it's probably from yesterday's shave. Really nice, and it does go really well with that uh, sample. I can't wait to sort of get through all the samples and place an order with Wickham's. I'm going to get at least one, if not two, of their soaps. I'm so impressed. Um, I can see why there are people out there who rave about Wickham's soaps. But I hadn't been watching them, so I hadn't seen a review of a Wickham soap in months and months. So, <clears throat> when I found them, that's what spurred me to go on and use it. Right, so the Ted Baker Post Shave Balm, just going to put enough for head and face. May as well while you're at it. This has got a lavender, almost lavender and leather scent to me. It's, it's okay, it's pleasant. Doesn't really go with what I've just used, but I'd forgotten what the scent profile of this was if I'd, if I'd known. It's, it's woody, old leather and lavender to me. That's what it smells like. I haven't even looked to see what the description is. Any excess aftershave balm I put on my arms and I'll be putting the Nivea Men on my head later. So that's me for today and for this week. Um, I will see you next Friday. I won't be using the Wickham's on my head shaves. I'm saving that for Saturday shaves. Um, so yeah, I'll see you next Friday for my next head shave. Not sure what I'm going to use, but let's wait and see, hey? So it's bye-bye from me. Bye-bye from the Razor Rock 6C. Razor Rock? I keep doing that. Rockwell 6C with Plate 4. Excellent shave. Excellent razor. Recommend it to anybody from beginner to experienced because it's got... It's effectively adjustable using different plates. So I'd recommend that razor to anybody. Um, the soap I'd recommend to anybody. Oh, going back on the hardware, um, the um, got to put my glasses on. The Super Shave X blades are definitely going to go into my top ten whenever I produce a top ten. But though those are stunning. I have to, I'll have to try them in some different razors first, but. That was one of the best shows I've had um, with the Rockwell 6C. So there we go. So that's me from for now. Bye bye for bye bye until next week.